Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so there will be a lot more videos on quadratic residues, um, but yeah, in this video we're going to talk about what are quadratic residues, so we're going to get a feel for what they are. Now, um, given that the greatest common divisor of uh, the integer a and the integer m is 1, then the number a is set to be a quadratic residue modulo m, so it makes sense to talk about quadratic residues only modulo some number m. Um, if and only if um, x squared is congruent to a mod m is solvable. Um, so another way to say this is that a is a quadratic residue mod m if a is a square mod m. Yeah? Okay, that's all it's saying. And otherwise, a is set to be a quadratic non-residue. So um, let's pick an m and uh, get a better feel for this. So suppose that m is equal to 7. Now we know that mod a 7 there are only really seven numbers, one, and then um, two, and then uh, three, and then uh, four, and then five, and then six, and then seven. But seven is congruent to zero mod seven, right? So mod seven, seven is like the number zero, so we're going to leave out seven. Uh, and we're just going to look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So these are all the possible values of what x can be because, uh, for example, 8 is congruent to 1 mod 7, so 8 is the same as the number 1, and 9 is the same as the number 2, and so on. So other than 7, which is like 0 uh, mod 7, we have no other numbers but these six numbers I've listed as possible choices for x, right? And so let's square each of them and see what happens. So if we square one, we get one, which we know is congruent to one mod seven, right? Okay. And then if we square two, we know we get uh, four, which is congruent to four mod seven. And then if we square three, we know that that's equal to nine but that's congruent to uh, 2 mod 7. 9 is the same as the number 2 mod 7, right? Okay. And then if we square 4, we get 16. And this is congruent to 2 mod 7. In other words, the number 16 is the same as the number 2 mod 7, right? And then if we square 5, we get 25, which is congruent to uh, 4 mod 7, right? 25 is 4 more than a multiple of uh, 7, namely 21. And then 6 squared, which is 36, is congruent to, 36 is congruent to 1 uh, mod 7, because uh, it's 1 more than a multiple of 7, namely 35, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now what? So we see that 1 and then two, and then four are the only quadratic residues mod seven. So it looks like one, and then two, and then four are quadratic residues. So let's abbreviate quadras, quadratic residues mod seven. And therefore, the numbers three, five, and six are quadratic non-residues mod seven. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, so this is it for this video, but like I said, I'll make many more videos on quadratic residues, uh, and so some of what's to come is uh, the Legendre symbol and uh, quadratic uh, reciprocity laws. So uh, keep watching and you'll learn a lot more. Yeah? Okay, cool. Take care.